What is going on everybody and welcome back to Key Points. I'm back again. But hey, I brought some very important information with me because I don't just have to keep recording episodes for no reason. There has to be something different. There has to be something new. There has to be something beneficial for everybody watching right now. So without further ado, this is going to be about CCNA and AI. Oh, wait a second. CCNA and AI, do they have anything in common? Well, uh, Maybe yes, maybe not, maybe not, but uh, hey, should I go for CCNA? Should I go for artificial intelligence? What should I do? I mean, yeah, I'm here to help you and to answer this question. But before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and maybe if you want, share this episode because there are others that need to learn about this new bunch of episodes. Hey, it's going to be several episodes. Without further ado, let's get going. I often get this question, do I need to go for CCN? It's been there for like decades. Has it gone obsolete yet? Or should I, as a fresh grad or someone who is trying to get a career in the IT world, should, should I go for a CCNA? My answer to this question is always going to remain Yes, go for CCNA, not just because I'm a Cisco guy or because I've done CCNA or CCNP or CCIE. No, I'm not an advocate for a technology that doesn't pay off. If it pays you off, then go for it. Definitely it still pays off. Why? How? Because, hey, you still can make money out of this career, out of the networking career. But, hey, let's just summarize it. Like, why do you exactly need to go for a CCNA? Because there are several reasons. The main three reasons from my point of view, first of all, if you're interested in networking, specifically in configuring and managing, maybe troubleshooting networks, go for CCNA. If your goal is to work in roles such as network engineer or system admin or IT support specialist, go for CCNA. Or maybe if you're focused on traditional IT infrastructure and networking technologies such as routing, switching, security, wireless, uh, cloud computing, uh, cloud connectivity, all these fields, you still need to go for a CCNA. But on the other hand, there is a new booming technology that has just emerged and it has taken the world of IT by storm artificial intelligence. Should I go for it as well? Or should I just go for it and forget about networking and forget about CCNA? Well, first of all, let me just clarify, why do you need artificial intelligence? The main three reasons for that is if you're interested in the future of technology and you want to work in fields such as data science or machine learning or artificial intelligence development, you need to start studying AI. If your goal is to move into roles like AI engineering or data anal data analysis or machine learning engineering, you become if you want to become one of those, then go for it. Go for AI for artificial intelligence. And last but not least, if you're focused on software and data-driven technologies, you are increasingly integrated into various industries, then AI is gonna be your best friend. But hey. Can I just do both? Yes, you can actually do both. You can do a pinch of networking and a pinch of AI at the very same time on a couple of levels. Maybe you want to do it on a basic level or maybe you can do it in an advanced way. So if you want to go for your networking certificate, if you want to pursue your networking career using definitely a CCNA certificate, then watch for the latest version of CCNA, version 1.1 that has just been released this year. This year, version 1.1 started mixing a little bit of more trending technologies into that into the certificate itself. So we're not just talking here about routing, switching, wireless, cloud connectivity, uh, automation and programmability. We're also talking about artificial intelligence within CCNA itself. So why not? Why not to just pursue this certificate? And again, as I keep repeating, I'm not just trying to get you to pursue a certificate that doesn't have a value. The networking career does not go away. It still remains and it has more information. But hey, maybe you need something more advanced. Maybe you're into your professional career. Maybe you want to just pursue an, an expert career, an expert level, and you want to just go for core artificial intelligence information. So go for a CCDE. Oh, wait, wait, what did you just say? Yes, you heard me right. CCDE, Cisco Certified Design Expert, the Artificial Intelligence 
optional track. Oh, what's that? This is a release. This is an announcement that has been made this year, again, 2024, June of this year. We announced that there is a new track in the CCDE certificate that you can optionally elect if you're going for your CCDE certificate. And guess what? If you're going for that specific expert track, then you need to study the core of artificial intelligence. And this is going to be a good way to hit two birds with one stone, artificial intelligence and also an expert level certificate from Cisco. What's in it for me? Why am I telling you this information right here, right now on this very channel, the Cisco U YouTube channel? Well, guess what? Starting from next week, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything that you might need for these two technologies at the same time, for these two domains at the same time. The Cisco CCNA, the most important topics, not the entire track, of course, the most important topics of CCNA version 1.1 and the most important topics of artificial intelligence right here on this YouTube channel of Cisco U, where you're gonna have a lot of information that you need to enhance your career. Time for the key points. Well, if you're pursuing a networking career, your best friend will remain the CCNA and it's always been the CCNA. And if you want to do something different, if you want to pursue a data-driven career or some kind of uh, data science with some new booming technology, artificial intelligence is your best bet. But guess what? You can do both. Why not just choose do both of them? Learn, you know, sky's the limit. Keep learning. And with Cisco, we have CCNA version 1.1 that hits the networking career in one hand and it gives you a little bit about artificial intelligence on the other hand. If you want to dive deeper into the world of artificial intelligence from Cisco, we got the CCDE AI track. Hit the like button, share, don't forget watch and learn hope that this has been informative and i'd like to thank you for viewing wait for the next episode it's gonna be exciting